It's almost 2022, and what better way to explore the year and enjoy the year of 2022 with my calendar. I thank you so much for all the support you've given me through the years. It's allowed me to build my business and create a nice gallery here. And so, with that, let's go and check out 2022. January's image is a good book on a snow day. My daughter Elle was reading right on the windowsill, right upstairs, while I was getting the apartment all painted up. So I took a few pictures and I thought I'd throw some snow in there too as well. We all need to read a good book sometimes and uh, it's nice to get away. So I thought that captured the moment right there, of just getting lost in a good book, especially on a snow day. February is, I don't know what the title of this one is yet because it's not a print. <laughs> now this is a frigid image. This is February. February is the worst month in Maine, I think. But there's still beauty in it. This is the Kennebec River Squirrel Island Light and a woman walking her dog. And I added more pinks and lavenders in it and uh, instead of just bright white snow, just to warm it up a bit. Lobster boat at Round Pond. I love the seagull there sitting on the lobster traps and the sailboat in the background so it gives you a lot of depth and uh, the island across the way. That's your March image, lobster boats at Round Pond. April is Portland Jeffport. I love this image here with the cinnamon roll like background of the runway and the plane taxing out and a lot of people leave Maine in April to go where it's warmer. I just thought it was uh, fitting for the month of April. Coffee break. May is Curtis Island Light. That's in Camden. Uh, I call this piece Camden Lighthouse and love the open space in the gray and how the trees around it kind of surrounds you. Kind of voyeuristic like, but it's really cute. This is actually somebody's driveway. I just thought, oh, this is a nice little shot. So I took some pictures. May is when things actually get warmer in Maine. Not too much warmer, but uh, I think this bright colorful image is a nice way to enter into spring. June is Beck's Walk on Cadillac Mountain. This one's a nice one too. You're high above on Cadillac Mountain with overlooking all the islands and such a pretty spot to be at. And I like it that she is actually walking around with flip-flops. So she's not an arduous hiker, but you can still enjoy the beauty of Acadia. And this one's called Sunset at Ladies Delight. This lighthouse is a, the only landlocked lighthouse in Maine. It's only about five miles away from here. Uh, that's where all the cabin masters do a lot of their camps. Uh, they're like, it's a fixer up for reality TV show. Great show. I included the bird life there at Ladies Delight Lighthouse. It's such a great little spot. We actually go swimming around the lighthouse in the summertime and you could actually go ice skating in the wintertime. August is lobster boats in friendship. Friendship is a town in Maine. It's a lobster town and um, a lot of fish in there. And I love this one too. This, this lobster boat's called Perseverance and this one's called Play Buoy, which I thought was kind of fun. But you see the orange traps in the background that really brings out uh, a lot of color. And I love the grays and the lightly yellow sky to make this a nice piece for August. September, September is kayaking in Port Clyde. Such a beautiful area, it's classic Maine. This one's interesting with all the patterns in the sky. And I don't always wanna have a perfect blue sky all the time. I really like this house in the background. It's a classic old house in Maine. The colorful kayakers really bring out some life to it and gives you a place of focus and it's a fun image. My friend Allison Branhall is the one in the blue here. She does colorful fish prints. Check it out on festivefish.net. Coffee break. 
Okay. Are you ready for October? October is orange. Every calendar I do, orange is dominant in October. I think it's fitting. This one is Sailboat in Round Pond. It's also available as a non-sunset image as a print. I hope you like the simplicity. It's hard for me to make it really simple. So I like this one because I think it works really well. November is Cyclists at Watch Hill. This is in Rhode Island. It's my only Rhode Island image. It's where uh, Taylor Swift lives. She's got that mansion that overlooks this lighthouse. Very pretty spot on the point. I love these cyclists who are chatting away. The bright roof and just the neutral colors here that we're that I'm playing with here. That's what I strive for is to keep it very simple but yet meaningful in a way. You wonder what they're talking about. I really like how the colors really work together and including the red roof. So I hope you enjoy Cyclists at Watch Hill in November's image. And wrapping up the calendar, December is Winter Harbor Light. That's in Acadia and that's Cadillac Mountain in the background. Uh, somebody lives here on this little island, Lighthouse Island, but I thought it was pretty. And just the height of the mountain compared to the lighthouse. You could actually see this lighthouse from Cadillac Mountain. Really tiny. So thanks so much for joining me in this little preview. Well, I hope you come and visit the gallery. We're 45 minutes north of Portland. I'll be happy to sign your calendars and sign your prints. Uh, we have frame prints here as well. Uh, if not, you could always buy it online. It's free shipping. And I hope you have a safe, wonderful holiday season and have a great 2022.